guys, welcome to my channel. Um, first off, ways to help this channel. Like, subscribe, join a group. All links are below video. Thank you. So, I'm asking for help on my fundraiser. The link is under the video, or it can be found on my community tab. I also post it on Twitter. Um, I think I'm down to 650 now to go. Um, having paid off 150 yesterday and 50 today. Anyways, you guys, whatever is being paid is going immediately towards paying on the car. As soon as I get it, it goes straight to paying on the work that was done on the vehicle. As you can see, this is my car back here in the shop picture that I had taken. Um, yeah. It's driving really good now. The front end work was done, so I don't feel afraid to drive it anymore. I know that eventually I'm going to have other work I have to have done on it, but this car is worth every penny that has been put into it so far. Knock on wood. You can hear me over here knocking. I really appreciate everybody who has helped me so far. I don't want to go into the reasons why. I'm asking for help and can't work, but there is reasons why I can't work and so therefore I am limited income wise and I'm asking people to help me out if they can. Hi guys, and CWQ here and uh there's been a lot of news and in the news today, so I'm going to read to you what is going on. Um, Kiev, Ukraine is nearing the one-year mark with the war with Vladimir Putin, and they're warning that Vladimir Putin is preparing a major new offensive. Ukrainian officials say they fear that the Russian military is regrouping and preparing an imminent attack designed to turn the tide of the war in Moscow's favor. Its ranks bolstered by hundreds of thousands of conscripts called up last fall. They're stating that it should be understood that the threat of a new and another offensive will remain until they defeat Russia. A spring offensive has long been predicted by Western officials and analysts with the Kremlin eager to seize the initiative after the grinding winter that was preceded by months of battlefield setbacks and domestic criticism. But leaders in Kiev now say that Russia has amassed a large force ready to attack soon leading up to the February 24th anniversary. Speaking to French media Wednesday, Ukrainian Defense Minister Oleksiy Reznovkov said Russia had 500,000 troops ready for an assault in the coming weeks, nearly double the number Putin announced he was mobilizing in September. Officially, they announced 300,000, but when we see the troops at the borders, according to our assessments, it's much more, he said. Ukrainian officials have been issuing warnings, but his comments are most detailed description yet of what Kiev sees as an imminent threat. Reznikov, who was in Paris to press French government for weapons, said Russia was likely to attack from either the east or the south. Their main forces are concentrated in the east, and they expect them to begin an offensive there around Bakhmut. Um, they stated the enemy is trying to achieve at least something now to show that Russia has some chances on the anniversary of the invasion. In the south, Russian forces are array along the eastern bank of the Dnipro River and within striking distance of the crucial city of Kherson. The regional capital was the first major city to fall to Russian troops in the early days of the war, but they were forced, to, forced into an embarrassing retreat in November, and they're in more defensible positions at the river. Okay, so something else that I saw today was Putin is really pissed. Um, he threatened the, threatened the West with not only armored vehicles for giving the Leopard tanks to Ukraine. Um, this was his quote. 
those who involved Germany in a new war with Russia and even more irresponsibly declared as an accomplished fact. Those who expect to win over Russia on the battlefield probably do not understand that the modern war with Russia will be completely different for them. We do not send our tanks to their borders, but we have something to respond with, and the matter will not end with the use of armored vehicles. Everyone should understand that. Putin believes that Russians have absorbed the heritage of winners with their mother's milk. In addition, Putin stated that Russia has many friends, in particular in North America. We have many friends, moreover, all over the world, in particular on the American continent and North America in Europe. I'm not sure that he has many friends anywhere. That was one story that I had read. He also invoked... Um, a few things today. Six hours ago. Tucker. Anyways, that was the article that I was reading today. I hope that y'all are doing well. Please be safe and take good care of yourselves. Much love.